Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ Chain Design Channel. Today we are going to talk about some surface tool and how to make the shoes. I'm sorry I cannot help, has to turn them into the metal. Are you ready? Let's get started. There are a lot of images you can trace on, depends on your design. And I'm not a shoes designer, I just want to use a Rhino to discuss the surface. But um, you can trace on any of those uh, profile to starting with your design. Since I'm not a shoes designer, I'm going to grab an image online that is to, to starting with this profile. So we don't have to go exactly like this, but we kind of need to get an uh, understanding for what what the shape is going to look like. I would suggest you to trace not just directly, we always want to trace the line over. So let me starting with this one and kind of going from here. And again, today's demonstration is for understanding the surface editing. So we may not necessarily to to do exactly the same design. But if you are doing the design for your own, you probably want to make sure that you trace exactly. All right, so I got that two line there and I actually want to cross over and to trace this bottom line. Uh, I do not want that little bit heel there. So I'm going to do something like this. And then I also wanted to do a curve roughly look like this. Okay, so this will be the profile that we have. We also want to design something like the bottom uh, sole. So I'm going to trace over. And by the way, this the shoes look pretty painful. Um, I'm not so sure that a human can wear this one, but maybe. But anyway, so we are going to wow really painful but anyway so it's for the demonstration purpose i'm going to delete this one right there all right so this is my profile and this is you know where from the top view supposed to be so i'm going to rotate that one since this is for the top view let's go ahead to rotate it 90 degree and also rotate it 90 degree here so that way we can use as a top view we wanted to make sure the point that we have here and have here is aligned with the point that we have on the front view. So the command we are going to use, it's called orient to point. So we want to orient this one from the two point and we want to make sure it's scale 3D. And then we want to come in here to, to the perspective we want to snapping into those cross point. So let me stretch them into here. Okay, so now we got this one and that one. Now we have this, we also need to find out where the top opening is. So I'm gonna go into all four view. And then we are gonna come over here using the oval. And again, I don't know what exactly the shape the topping should look like, but we are just gonna use an oval to represent it and you can change it for whatever your design is. Okay, so now we have this, we have that. Uh, we just need to make sure that this two straight uh, close curve, it should follow this curve and the curve that we have on the top to fit our design. So the command we are going to use is curve from two view. So I'm gonna click this one and that one and that automatically create that one. We're going to do one more time. We'll click one and two. And then that will create this curve over there. So now we are just temporarily going to hide it, the original curve so it doesn't bother us. Right. So now we have this, we can creating the surface. If we are creating a surface by sweep two, for example, we are going to use the sweep two, rail one, rail two, and you have cross section here and cross section there. And you also want to close the sweep. So let's see what happened is you will have it cross over there, right? So sweep two may not work. In this case, it's because there's some really tight area areas really pointed painful at the same time over there. So I'm going to move that one to there for the comparison. Now, if we are not using the sweep to the only choice left 
uh, is for the curved network. But for the curved network, if you look at the front view, you do have the profile here and here on the side view, but the front view, that was nothing there, right? So our shoes won't be volume, it will be like really flat. So we want to come over to the right view and that's creating the profile. I'm going to draw some sort of a bump curve on the side. And again, if you are shoe de shoes designer, you know what that profile should look like. I'm just doing here for any of the bumping profile. Okay, so we are going to use the same command here. Let's go into oriented to point and we're going to go from here to here. This time uh, we do not want to copy and we do want a 3D scale. That's snapping into the quadrant there and we want to look at the all four view. Um, so that way we want to make sure it's straight, as straight as possible. All right, so I want to snap in over there. We want to orient it again, snapping into the point one, point two. come over here to the quadrant, and we want to make it as straight as possible by looking at the top view, all right? So then we have the other profile there, okay? So now we can do the uh, curve network. Let's take a look. We're going to do the curve network. And we're gonna pick in the order one, two, three, and four, and we're gonna pick the top and the bottom. And then we get something like this. It's really nice and smooth. It fitting to whatever we like. All right. So now we have the shoes here. If you have some really tight area, for example, uh, right at this area, if it is getting really like folding, what you can do, you can also rebuild the surface. Once you rebuild and turn it into the smaller point, then you're going to see it is a lot more smoother surface. Okay, so it depends on what you like to do. Now what I like to do is I'm going to pick up this one and this one and we need to close it. So let's go to the surface, extrude it straight, right? So now we have those surface. Let's see if we can trim the surface by these shoes there. So let's go ahead to trim this area and that area. Okay, so the reason that it cannot trim is because it doesn't intersect all the way. And that's because we are using creating the surface with a curved network. So they may not be 100% att attached to the edge. All right, so you might want to keep in mind that's the possibility. If that is the case, I'm going to move this one up 0.05 and move this one down minus 0.05 so that way we have it, it intersect right so we are going to pick up our shoes and trimming all the extra first on those surface right so and then we have those surface that we we pick both top and also the bottom And we want to go to the front view and let's trim off the extra on the top. And we also want to trim off the extra on the bottom. And let's go ahead to join all of them. So now if you look at the um, property, it says a closed solid uh, poly surface. Okay, to make it hollow, um, we can do is using the shell command and we want to remove, let's say 0.3 may be good, so I'm going to click this surface and remove the 0.3 there. Since this is really pointed, you make sure you don't want the thickness is too thick, you might end up with not solid. Okay, so this is a closed solid polished surface. So I'm going to do is delete this curve and kind of uh, want to duplicate it, this edges there. Okay, let me move that into other layer and change the color is easier to see. We're gonna turn off the original layer. Okay, so this is where exactly on the edge. I'm going to cut it off by drawing a straight line here. And then let's trim it off this part, this part, and this part. I need to move it, this one down there and we can join it. So I want to come into the top view and project to the C plane and we don't want to delete the input, 
right? And so this is uh, the one is going to be narrowed down. And if we look at the top, it's kind of it's, it's getting inside of the shoe. So I'm going to bring it down to somewhere close to the bottom of here. So the, to be sure, we want to align to the bottom and make sure we align over there okay so now i have uh one over there one over there on the top if you do want to just um, use the loft and you can go from here to here what you're going to get is a straight downhill right and if that works for you that will be fine if it doesn't work for you i'm going to move this one here we also what we can do is we can make the curve much nicer so let me use this curve to trim off this curve first okay and i'm going to draw another curve close to the middle midpoint and we are going to use a command called blend we are going to blend from this edges to this edges. All right, so that way it will give me really nice curve over there. Uh, for the inside one, we could just freehand drawing for whatever curve that you're going to uh, be used and just kind of coming over here and make sure you're snapping into the middle. Okay, so now we have a new two profile um, to use. We're gonna use a sweep to rail this is rail one, rail two, and we're gonna go from that curve and go into the bottom curve. And then we will get something like this. All right, so it's, it's flow with the form better and we can just simply just cap it. Okay, so now we have that one. Uh, it's almost done, but in some shoes design, you may need to have an opening, otherwise your feet will not able to get in. So I simply just gonna draw a line right here right here and depends on how big of the opening that you wanted to have for your shoes okay and again you can change it if you like it but basically what i like to do is have that and just uh, trim the center off okay so once i have that opening there i'm going to use the same curve and we are going to extrude the curve straight if you ever have something like that, that means your curve, original curve wasn't straight, right? So I didn't see it, now I see it. Uh, so let's go ahead to the front view and project it to C plane. That's the most easy uh, uh, solution for it. So once you have that, we are going to extrude the curve straight and then we won't have problem to go into the up position. Okay, so we're going to use our shoes uh, as a cutting object and we're going to trim in those and then we can kind of join back so they will be solid again. And then the rest of it, um, you could balling them or you will keep it separately so you can assign different material. I would like to give a special thanks for Joshua, Ted, and a friend, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I really appreciate your donation that is going to help me to improve my channel, buying the equipment and update the software that I need for better YouTube video. And thanks everybody for your watching. I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you next.